today at the 32nd staging of the Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open. Three finals so far, and all three finals have gone the full distance, gone to three games. And next up is men's singles. And the man promoted from the qualifying, Lee Chek Yu of Hong Kong, up against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, the number eight seed from Indonesia. Well, when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the men's singles, I can tell you that the top seven have all contested at least three World Tour Finals each this year. The top two, that's Momoto and Cho Tien Chen, have won nine of the 14 Super 500 and above events so far this year. And the top two have won all three Super 1000s. Now, after this week, if Ginting wins today, he'll go up one place to a number five. But if he loses today's final, he'll stay at number six. It's the top seven who have already qualified, including the two Danes and the two Indonesians. It's just the last remaining spot that's up for grabs and will depend on what happens next week at the Korea Masters. So as far as the men's singles draw is concerned, we started the tournament with four former winners of the Hong Kong Open. By quarterfinal stage, we only had one former winner, and that was the 2012 winner, Chen Long. But as you can see, at quarterfinal stage, we had six different nationalities, two players from Denmark, two from Indonesia. The two Danes lost in the quarterfinal stage, and the two Indonesians progressed. By semi-final stage, two seeds, and they were both in the bottom half of the draw, the all-Indonesian uh, fair. So it means that uh, the player promoted from the qualifying, Lee Chik Yu, who beat two former world number ones on his way through to today's final, is up against Anthony Ginting of Indonesia. We looked a little bit nervous coming onto the court. Lee Chiek Yu actually replaced Lee Si Jia of Malaysia in the draw. Lee had to withdraw because of injury problems, and that meant that Lee Chiek Yu was promoted from the qualifying into the main draw, and he's made it all the way through to the final. What an incredible, incredible story. Pets from Germany and Devraj Gunadre from Mauritius, the two court officials. And our guest to do the toss of the coin. Listen to the roar. Lee Chek Yu First of, of Hong Kong. China Open 2019, row ranking number eight, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, Indonesia. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. The Asian Games bronze medalist from last year. In his fourth final this year, the Indonesian, but he's still looking for his first title of the year. Now, this is the second meeting between these two players. The only time they met previously was in the qualifying of the 2015 Hong Kong Open. And Anthony Ginting actually went through the qualifying all the way through to the semi-final stage. So, of course, he must have won that encounter in the qualifying draw. However, it was three games, 21-19, 11-21, 21-12 in the deciding game, two minutes shy of the hour mark going back to this very event four years ago. So Anthony Ginting. Well, to say the support will be for his opponent is a, a bit of an understatement. About the 23-year-old from Chimahi, just west of Bangdong, 
currently number eight in the world ranking, but he has been one place higher, as you can see, a total of 25 weeks at number seven. Fifth consecutive Hong Kong Open. And as I was telling you, he was a semi-finalist here as a qualifier four years ago. Fourth final of the year, reached the final in Singapore, Australia, and the China Super 1000 event. Now look at that. All of his four previous matches have gone the full distance. The 2016 winner, Ng Ka Long, in the first round. The former world number two, Jorgensen, in the second round. The current world number two, Cho Tien Chen, in the quarterfinal. And in the semi-final, uh, beat the Asian Games gold medalists, coming from 7-13 down in the deciding game to win it. Lee Chek Yu is 23 years of age, born here in Hong Kong. Went up one place in the world ranking last week to 27, but has been a couple of places higher, and I wouldn't be surprised if he goes up to new career high ranking after this week in Hong Kong. He, like his opponent, is playing his fifth consecutive Hong Kong Open. And he was a semi-finalist last year, having come through the qualifying draw. In the first round, he beat uh, Tamasin, who won the recent Macau Open. Shi Yu Chi, the uh, World Championship silver medalist from last year, came from 6-12 down in the second game. Saved four game points before winning it 26-24. Former world number one, Victor Axelsen in the quarterfinal. And former world number one, Kadambi Strickhanth in the semi-final yesterday. 15-20 down in the second game against Kidami. Saved seven game points before eventually winning 25-23. Yeah, it's not like any one of them have sneaked their way to the final. They've beaten good players. Absolutely. Anthony Ginting gets the men's singles final underway. Lee Chek Yu becomes only the third home player to contest a men's singles final here at the Hong Kong Open. 20 years ago, Tan Kai Chuan reached the final but lost the final. Three years ago, Ang Ka Long won the title. Down. And for Anthony Ginting, he becomes only the fifth, or rather, he's trying to become only the fifth Indonesian to win the men's singles title here at the Hong Kong Open. Four previous players from Indonesia have won five titles at this event. The only player to win the Hong Kong Open twice was Kiriento Arbi. As far as Indonesian players are concerned, it's a lovely shot. Mister. So, Steve, let me check you through to the Final here, all of his matches in straight games. Total time on court, two hours, 40 minutes. <laughs> Anthony Ginting, all of his matches in three games. Total time on court, four hours, 
40 minutes, two <laughs> hours longer. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's a long match, then it might have some influence. Yeah. They also had a little bit less um, recovery time than uh, Lee Chagu, but uh, not that much. Still both played in the uh, evening session yesterday. Yeah. Semi-final, Anthony Ginting race to an 11-1 yeah. lead. It was extraordinary, wasn't it? Against Jonathan Christie. And he starts out fast here as well. Looks like he's played himself in form. Interesting what different venues can do because he lost the first round in um, Fuzhou to uh, Unkalong and then uh, beat Unkalong here on home on Unkalong's home soil in the first yeah. round. Good point. Ginting to have the upper hand in the net game. Not that uh, Lee Chuck Yu is not strong there, it's just uh, not a whole lot of players can challenge this man. Look, that, that's what's so amazing about him. He makes deceptions on all his shots from the front court, or he can make if he likes to. And he's satisfied with that himself. He enjoyed that, <laughs> didn't he? That's <laughs> where you get, go around thinking, I hope they got that one on TV. point you made just now about different playing conditions and so on. This man obviously loves playing here in this Hong Kong yeah. Coliseum yeah. semi-final last year and prior to this tournament, this is his 20th tournament of the year, prior to this Lee Chek Yu had not got past the last 16 of any tournament he played. No. And that's a little bit amazing but because I mean he thrives in, in holes where it's reasonably fast playing condition. There has to be some drift. Uh, he's an attacking player, and and his um, sort of basic game is is um, lacking a little bit compared to to the uh, top ten players, in my opinion. Um, <coughs> perhaps the defense as well. But here, when there's drift, then he gets a little bit help. It's difficult to uh, for the opponents to use the whole court. Uh, the court gets smaller, and um, there's some very special skills. It's good to be attacking. It's good to be good at the net. It's good to be fast on his feet. Mm. Ch checks them all. Yeah. Oh. The problem is, so does Kinting. <laughs> yeah. And when, in, in, the, in the beginning, when you're playing a final on the home soil, you're fired up. Now when you're behind 2-10, then you'd like to see some points coming your way. Uh, ra rather sooner than later.
Yeah, he wasn't going to be fooled on that one. He was waiting at the net. Perfect. So it's a seven point advantage for Anthony Ginting at the mid game interval. the last Indonesian player won the men's singles title here in Hong Kong. Do you know who that was, Steve? 21 years ago, that is in uh, 98. 98. I think he's been here this year as, a, as well, as a coach. Buri Santoso. Buri Santoso, yeah, I've seen him. So Taufik has never won this tournament. No. Last Indonesian player in the men's series final here it was six years ago, and that was Sonny Dwi Kuncoro. Lost out to Lee Chong Wei. What a lovely wow. block. Oh, <laughs> got him back. When you're standing 20 feet, uh, 20 oh. centimeters from the rally, but you can't, or from the shuttle, you can't reach it because you started moving the wrong direction. Started to uh, play back at Ginting at the net. Excellent done. Great touch. rally so far and four straight points since the mid-game interval.
the run of points comes to an end, but five straight points immediately oh. after the mid-game interval has put the Chip U right back in this opening game. Beginning. So good at moving backwards, um, Ginting. So easy to get uh, behind the shuttles. This was not a big problem, and it was a high lift, but uh, it's also one of his uh, strong skills in the Indonesian. and winning shot it's also beautiful to watch yeah There it was again. Yeah, it's a great angle. So crisp, wasn't it? And down so steeply. sideways drift. I can understand why he uh, let it drop, Lee Tregu. The start of that uh, lift from Ginting looked as if it was going to go way wide. Well. 
short. Oi. Oh my goodness, what a follow-up. What a follow-up. How quick was that? It's flying around and caught. It's a nice little reverse slice. Brushing a little yeah. bit, yeah. Prevents it from going long if he uh, doesn't get the absolute correct um, hit on it. Did you notice the strapping on Hinting's hand? I think he's got blisters on his hand. Yeah. It's very difficult to uh, tape the hand so it will uh, hold up. Oh, that's a nice back on it. I think from Lee Chun Yu's perspective, um, of course, he's six point drift and um, seems like the first game is gone, but he can't be too disappointed because things looked really ugly at 10 2, but now it's become more respectable. So so you can uh, work with it in the, in the second game where he can push his shots a little bit more. Playing up against the drift in the second game, like Ginting is at the moment. That's well played. Yeah, forced the short lift with a terrific net shot. <laughs> yeah. So now he can't fall for that deception more in uh, this match. Two times, that's the max. Yeah. And you've got to close it down, got to be alert to it. Yeah, funnily enough, I want Lee Chen Yu to play that very same yeah. return of serve in both his quarter final against Baxelson and his semi final against Tidambi. Good play. Yeah, of course, there's an error. Well, there's a challenge here, first challenge of the match. Here he comes. 
and the line judge got it right. Goodness me, he threaded that down the line. And gain point opportunities. Ramsey Ginting. Brilliant. Yeah. Opening game to Anthony Ginty. 21 16 in 24 minutes. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, very impressive in that opening game, Anthony Ginting. Only turned twenty-three last month. My goodness, the new generation of men singles players are very much coming to the Second fore, aren't they? Wow. Started the second game as he finished the first. What's the check you've got to do to counter yeah. this? He, he, first of all, he's got to get uh, the right length on his lifts. I think um, during most of the first game, Ginting had uh, good length on his lift, and then, of course, trying to um, to attack um, when the opportunity is there. When uh, when Ginting perhaps plays a little bit too short because he's afraid of the uh, drift alongside the court, play some deceptions. Uh, Force weak replies that are too short so he can attack early Chagu and follow up. He's normally a very strong attacking uh, player. But the, the downside is that Ginting is still 
really, really good at the net, even if they've changed sides and, and he's getting a little help in his attack by, um, yeah. by the drift. So if he plays too short, then uh, points could um, could run away really quickly. Good length on that one. Short. Well played. Yeah. He looks a lot more focused this year. The home player. Do you remember his semi-final last year when he was playing against Pinto Nishimoto? And he was well up in the first game and he, and he looked a little bit arrogant in a way in that he, yeah, he sort of swished at a shuffle that he knew was going out. I think it was you calling it, Jill, um, last year. I don't think I saw that match, but, but now he knows a little bit what it's like having experienced being at the later stage of, um, of his home tournament. Yeah. It's gone wide. Deflected, so it's difficult for Ginting to control the lift. Oh. He got it this time, uh, Dietrich. You, he, had, he read that deception. That he's fallen for twice. Is saying it's possible. It certainly is possible. <laughs> and the start to this second game that he was looking for. Each of you. He's got back the neck board. Seven. Seven straight points. to an end.
and one left. Line. Oh, he's challenging. That's a great challenge. Good rally. Yeah, best of the match. Oh, it's best pitch. Best and longest rally of the match so far. Come on, Lee Chiek Yu, that says. And I think most of the fans here would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Seven-point difference in the scoreline at mid-game interval. But in total contrast to the opening game, here in the second, it's the home player, Lee Chek Yun, who has the advantage. What an interesting turn of events scene. Yeah, it is, but... Um, looking through some of the results um, of Lee Chek Yu, he's lost to other attacking players like uh, Rasmus Gimke of... Um, Denmark, but then in French Open, the week after Denmark Open, he had the 18-15 lead in the second game against Jonathan Christie after winning the first game. So I think he's uh, he's about to uh, make his way further up the top of the world rankings. But I think maybe he's, he, he can't really believe it himself yet. And still there's things to work on in this game to help yeah. him uh, in um, heavier playing conditions than... Um, and this one here, where there's not so much drift. Oh. So it took uh, Christy to three games last week in uh, Fuzhou.
But you have to admit, I mean, if he goes on to win this final, it would be the most extraordinary result in World Tour history. They're only in the second year of the World Tour. In men's singles, don't you think? Yeah, in men's singles, in, it will definitely be. I, I can't really in, in think of any other, up. but um, but it will be a big, big surprise. Yeah. And uh, I think we also have to take into account that here in 2019, the, the Super 500s are basically as strong as the Super 750, which is as, yeah. super, as strong as the Super 1000s, yeah. which is, in terms of participation, stronger than the World Championships. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Don't disagree with that at all. So I'm basically saying Li Cheng Wei, no, Li, not Li Cheng Wei, we're missing him, but Li Cheng Yu, yeah. has the chance of becoming world champion right now. That's mm. not the case, but he has a chance of winning his own tournament, which would be a fantastic achievement. Yeah. nothing for hinting to feed off on his defensive shot. No. And a great angle as well, again, from uh, Lee. How has this man not got past a second round so far this year prior to this tournament? <laughs> I don't understand it. Nice. We've had a lot of comebacks, but I'm um, um, risking saying we're going to have a decider here in this men's singles as well. That's the three previous matches. same place yeah. from Lee. Ooh. Yeah, shot badly deflected by the net cord. He apologised for hitting his opponent. It's correctly, oh, my oh, goodness. Oh. Well, that would have been unbelievable if he had made that. He wasn't that far away either.
he knew it was loose, skinting. Just protecting himself, putting his racket up like that at the net. Yeah. It's, it's not a good missed shot, that one from McGinting, but I think it's been a while since he's started to uh, focus in on what is uh, going to come next, and um, that is a deciding game, I think. away from taking this second game. And this is perhaps where the difference in uh, time on court previously in the tournament could come into play. Yeah. It's not been such a long match, but um, has it been long enough? That's the question. Game point opportunities. Yeah, but also a sign that there's still these changes of pace yeah. in him, in Ginting's legs and uh, mindset. Oh. There's a challenge here. I don't think you check you. Oh, he does realise that. There yeah, was out. Second game. To Lee check you. One game or in the men's singles final here at the Lennox Sunrise Hong Kong Open.
final game. Club all. So the moment of truth. Will Lee Jack Yu become just the third player from the host nation to win a title here at the Hong Kong Open? One men singles player won. That was Ung Kar Long three years ago. Wang Chen won the women's singles in 2008. producing the best form of his career. That was fantastic net play. Yeah. I think the extra two hours on court getting through to the final may be the difference in this deciding game. Mind you, he's hitting winners at will at the moment. I don't think it's to do with physicality, is it? There's also uh, how you feel when you're Anthony Ginting uh, thinking Oh, this, maybe it's going to be a long third game here. I need to go for uh, quicker opportunities, and um, that is most definitely not the solution. Chagyu was promoted from qualifying and he was actually in qualifier one who would have gone on to meet Jonathan Christie in the first round whom he's lost to twice within the last two months. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. Boy. <laughs> What you call out the move it. I think he actually dropped his racket, didn't he, though? Didn't he? The task for Ginting now is to sort of uh, not lose the game to Lee Chuk Yu, but make Lee Chuk Yu win it. Yeah. Stay close, give yourself a chance. Let's see if uh, Lee has the uh, mental toughness to uh, get this done. Like the fact in finals day today, we've had dedicated court attendants who have yeah. literally run onto court when the court needs to be mopped. We had one in the earlier match, he was good, he was so yeah. fast on the court. Yeah. Wow. There's nothing much you can do when your opponent hits the net all the time. Yeah.
Look at that. Perfect neck cord. Thinking the world to get it back at all. believe it himself in Chucky. He goes around smiling to himself. Amazing. Chances at the net, playing back at um, Lee Chung Yu. Quite frankly, at the moment, I can only see this going one way. Yeah. It looks uh, bleak for. Ginting in terms of getting his first win of the year. Good match on. Yeah. Well, Lee Chek Yu has only ever won mm. one title. That was the New Zealand Grand Prix Gold of 2017. Yeah, because I was calling that tournament actually. And he was ranked 88 in the world yeah. at the time. That's when he first gave tastes of his um, attacking capabilities. Mm. He's got to do a little bit better, Ginting. He's about to lose it um, to Lee Chuck Yu, and I mean, if you're that much ahead, then you uh, probably don't get any uh, nervous. Right. A shot there, just getting it below the tape with no pace, and uh, outside the picture we can see Lee jumping on the spot here, a sign that he's feeling a little bit more tense. Well, that will help calm him down because he's got a six-point advantage at the change of ends in this deciding game. Well, 
Anthony Ginting is going to have to do what he did yesterday. Coming from behind in the deciding game to win the match. Sometimes with athletes, as they get close to the goal, they tense up considerably. And, and he showed to himself here, Li Chuk, easy, easy, easy. Yeah. And, and that means that he's thinking about it. Yeah. But um, he's got to cut down on the mistakes, Ginting. There was the net shot again. Wow. Uh, he's played the net quite brilliantly today as Li Chuk. Look at that. How many net boards has he had today? I wonder. Yeah. Seven thirteen down. Oh, Nick called this time. No, oh, no, oh. no, no. <laughs> I don't think that is correct. Seven. Well, the fault called on the check. You. Well, it's now the same score line as he was down before. Oh, yeah, he yeah. hit it a second time. <laughs> well done by the umpire. Yeah. I think he's getting tensed. Lee. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> but that is suffering his nerves. I'm not sure the solution for Ginting is to uh, put pace into the rallies because that will. The way I see it, help um, Lee in terms of just playing along. I think yeah, maintaining the control, playing below the tape, working it around court, hoping that um, his opponent will make some mistakes. Ginting will know that he's come back from this sort of a deficit in yesterday's semi-final. He'll know that he can do it again.
Jumping up and down, 14-10, there's a long way to go yet for Lee Chek Yu. Yeah. That's what you really like to see when you're a little bit tensed. Yeah, your opponent make an error. Yeah. There's no doubt the uh, previous matches has taken its toll on uh, Anthony Ginting. Yeah. Well, he looked a little tense at the start of the match, didn't he, Chip? You understandable for your first ever World Tour tournament final. And on home soil. And on home soil, yeah. Expectation of the fans. Oh, that's nice. And Carl Long won his first, and today only Super Series title. No, has he won a, a World Tour title of 500 or above? I don't think he has. Well, this is getting very tense now. There's only three points in it. Ginting could change the match. Sat on the top of the tape, trickled over. And then the perfect, perfect response from Ginting. Take a look at this. How on earth did he do that? Stay more patient, Ginting. Uh, at the moment, Lee is not really scoring. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, my goodness. That's great control from Vinton. Yeah.
Oj. Den är He went for it. Lee Choi. Longest rally of the match. 33 shots, my goodness, mate. Well, quite frankly, when Ginting was 2 9 down. It looked all but over. You'd think I'd learn, wouldn't you? Yeah. Thought it was all over yesterday <laughs> when he was 7-13 down against Jonathan Christie. Never write him off. Some shots from Lee Chek Yu. Look at that angle. That is tremendous. So a three point advantage. And three points away from the biggest moment of his career so far. Good flicker. Oh, no, he gets it back. It's gone wide. Well, he didn't just get it back, Steve. He got it back with interest. He did. That was amazing backhand. And he got it back with a shot that could be... Uh, Continued on. No, that's it, Scorpion. I think we've had good matches so far, but this is the thriller. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't know in this deciding no. game who's actually going to win it. It will be devastating for the one who doesn't get the win here. Yeah. Oh. And this is where this 18-15 um, in the second, having the first game against Jonathan Christie, comes into mind. From French Open. Mm. Pressure's even bigger here. Yeah, for me, check you. Missed it. And Anthony Ginting is back level. So. First to three wins it. Five of the last six points to Anthony yeah. Ginter. The shuttle over the heads of Lee Chek Yu. Mm 
two points away from the title, Anthony Ginty. was going to be an all-out uh, rally for Lee Choi-Gyu. Oh. Urging himself up. Two tantalising points for both players from the title. It's difficult even to uh, get the serve launched here, I think. Good defense. Oh, dismissed it. That was a real opportunity. You can hardly believe it. Because now the match point opportunity is with Anthony Ginty. I think Lee is going to go for the net on the return. He wasn't. What a brilliant shot. So well saved. The first match point. 20 all. An extra point required until it's a clear two point winning margin. He's got the nerve. Opportunity himself. Looks like he played much more free in this uh, rally. Like I said, okay, I've already almost lost it, so let's just go for it. the call. Lee check yet. Yeah. Sympathizes, embraces. But what a moment for a man who was promoted from the qualifying on Tuesday. Comes all the way through to win the title. 
a first World Tour title in his first World Tour tournament final. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, this is the final rally. Here we go. Oof. Well, that looked okay to me. But very, very difficult to tell. It's a judgment call. But it's a shame that the match has such a brilliant match. Has to end on a controversial decision. Yeah. Like the umpire duty to take a decision yeah. and uh, we have the benefit of watching it in replay. Yeah, I'd hate to be an umpire. I'd I wouldn't want to make those decisions. I would like to. Would you really? Yeah, I think I would take good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> So Lee Chek Yu wins the men's singles here at the 32nd Hong Kong Open. Confirmation of that scoreline. 16, 21, 21, 10, 22, 20. What a match. What a match. An hour and 17 minutes. An absolute thriller. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, that they're sitting waiting for the prize presentation. Well, it was a great match, there's no doubting that. And what a wonderful story that Lee Chek Yu wins his home events, having sought on Monday that he would be playing on Tuesday in the qualifying. Yeah. So for Anthony Ginting, a disappointment for a fourth time this year in a final. Disappointment, obvious for Anthony Ginting. But history is made. A first ever player promoted from the qualifying, or having come through the qualifying, to win a title here at the Hong Kong Open. Well, for a fourth time, settles for second best. Anthony Ginting, but what a moment for Liu Chek Yu, her first ever World Tour title. And he's done it in his home event, the Hong Kong Open. What a moment for a 23-year-old from Hong Kong.
one who's winning almost 60% of his career prize money yeah. today. And also a lot of nice world ranking points when you're at um, 27th. Yeah. And secure him uh, entry into uh, a number of the uh, World Tour tournaments, so he doesn't have to rely on being promoted from the qualifying. Yeah, very good point. So what a day we're having. Four finals, four finals going to three games. Just one more final to come, it's the mixed doubles. It's the defending champions, Watanabe and Higashino up against Herji Ting and Du Yue.